Welcome back to Bounce Around Savannah. I'm excited about our next guest, award-winning attorney Howard Spiva. Thank you so much for taking time out of your evening to be with us. Thank you. I'm excited to be here and I'm honored. Thank you. Well, we are just uh, so excited about some of the things that, that you've done, but also in uh, recent years, you've gotten so many accolades from people in your profession, which I always feel like that means more than just a public vote because we don't necessarily know what we're voting for. Tell me about some of those awards. Well, we've been honored uh, mostly through our community service work. We've been honored everywhere from the State Bar of Georgia to the Savannah Bar, um, the Georgia Trial Lawyers, the Business Chamber, uh, just a number of leading organizations around the city and state that have um, given us the honor of receiving awards for some of the community service work we've done and also um, for some of the, as an attorney, some mm -hmm. of the um, results that we've had. We've received a number of record verdicts in the state of Georgia, as well as record recoveries. And I, I always think, you know, it's great to get big verdicts, but it's, uh, it's always nice when they pay you on a case um, because they're worried you might get a verdict. So I think sometimes the settlements are um, um, better than the, the verdicts. But and when you prepare well, people know that uh, maybe we need to do the right thing. <laughs> Absolutely. I used to practice with a guy named Jim Lang, and he used to say, the cases that you prepare for trial, you settle, and the cases you prepare for settlement, you try, meaning that if you're prepared, they pay. Mm -hmm. And we like to think we're prepared. We're a pretty strong law firm. I know throughout your career, you have probably handled all kinds of cases and such memorable people. Is there anybody or anything that sticks out in your mind that you won't forget that really kind of impacted you in a special way? You know, um, most all my clients, because we become more than just attorney client. I mean, I, I usually when I work with someone, especially if it's a catastrophic case, you know, I'm in their home, they're in mine. We spend several years working together and, and build a relationship. You know, I've, I've got a birthday party coming up and there'll be tons of clients there and, uh, um, which are my friends now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, no, I think, you know, there's some notable ones. Uh, the, case we got against the city for the tree that has caused a lot of corrective action. Some cases we've gotten against some big institutions that have caused them to be safer. And uh, helping our clients uh, get justice and making things safer, that's what we're about. And that's why we do the charity. What We're going to talk about that charity just a little bit later on, but let, mm -hmm. let's begin, too, since I have you here. So many people have horror stories about trying to hire an attorney from the mm -hmm. upfront fees to you name it. Is there any advice you can give to us in case we ever need an attorney to help us? Yeah, as a matter of fact, over the years I've become very frustrated from clients that have come to me from other attorneys who have, let's say, um, messed up their case. And... Um, I actually published a book this year, mm -hmm. well, 2016, and it's called Winning Your Case, 21 Must Ask Questions Before You Hire a Lawyer. And we actually give them away at our office. I think you can get the e-book for like two bucks, and mm -hmm. I think it's 19 bucks online. But it's actually made four bestseller lists on Amazon. And um, it's also got what's called 21 uh, bonus questions. And then the rest of the book is us answering those questions ourselves. But this isn't just a self-promotion. This is if you have a traffic ticket, if you get a divorce, if you buy a house, there's so many times that people are going to need an attorney. Mm -hmm. And this, you ask an attorney these 21 questions and you're going to know right away. For example, if you're going to hire someone who is a um, uh, help represent you on a personal injury and they've never tried a case. That's right. like a boxer that doesn't own boxing gloves. Um, in this particular book, for example, one of the questions is, what is your reputation in the community? We have 105 pictures and testimonials of attorneys throughout the country that have recommended our service in the book. So um, it's just something that I did as, whether it's workers' comp, personal injury, it's something that I did for people to have a place to go to help them in the decision in hiring someone. Because what you see or what you hear on TV or advertisement is just that. It, and it doesn't necessarily mean that person has the experience, the resources, or the willingness to go forward. And when you're going against, you know, major institutions, major insurance companies, you know, they got to know you've got the resolve and you've got the resources to go the distance. All right. Thank you so much. Where can we get that book? At your office, but also online well, somewhere? If you come by my office, I'll be glad to give anyone a free mm -hmm. uh, copy. It's on Amazon. You can go to my web page. And, uh, and, and your like web page I, is? Spivalaw.com. Okay. Thank you so much. Stay right there. We have much more to discuss with attorney Howard Spiver right after the break. We are back with attorney Howard Spive, and I'm going to admit that many people probably know you more from being the guy in the yellow shirt on roller skates in just about every parade we see with the program, Helmets for Life. Yeah. <laughs> 
How did all that get started with you? Well, in 1999, my sister, um, who worked for me at that time, she's since passed away, mm -hmm. we were noticing, we had pictures of clients on the wall, we were noticing how many pictures we had of children. So we put all the pictures together. We ended up with about uh, 30 photographs of children that had suffered traumatic brain injuries. And as we went through each case, we realized that every one of those was preventable. And, you know, I often tell people, you know, that's the sound of a child not getting a brain injury mm -hmm. because they have this helmet on. And wh what we learned through the Center for Disease Control and then a recent study with the Pediatric Association was that when they mandated bicycle helmets, mm -hmm. that traumatic brain injuries went down 75% wow. and deaths went down 85% by wearing a helmet. And if you think about it, baseball, football, you know, Karate, they mm -hmm. all have helmets, but the number one cause of traumatic brain injuries in children under five years of age is in the child safety seat. Common injury, car rear-ended, nobody else in the car even goes to the emergency room, the back of the parent's seat breaks, back of their head smacks the child in the forehead, mm -hmm. or the child hits the window, and you get a closed head injury because they're so, so, so uh, vulnerable to injuries at that early age, where, you know, people ah, oh, but helmets, right. we don't want to mandate it, but you know what? Who are the toughest guys out there? Bull riders, they wear helmets. Race car drivers wear helmets. So we say you're putting your kid in the child seat. Don't mandate it, make it cool. Come out to one of our festivals, let them see. The police officers on motorcycles, on horses, the guys on the skateboards, mm -hmm. wearing the helmets, then they want one. I have people tell me the kids won't take them off in the shower even. And so you say, hey, you wanna be a race car driver or a karate girl? And so we, we really went on a quest. We now have other law firms called ambassadors that we allow to come in. We provide them with our promotional items. And as you saw earlier, we have lots of them, everything from beads in the parade. Um, and you might see our helmet mobile and our car mobile around town. Um, we go to probably about 50 events a year, and we give away helmets by the tens of thousands. And our mission is to eliminate traumatic brain injuries in children. Mm -hmm. And so... That's how we started. We just went and bought some helmets and started giving them away. And then the Justice for Children Foundation was formed. And then we had a board with a lot of local leaders. Then we got volunteers. And it just grew. And uh, it's uh, really well. Now, the Heads and Helmet Program, we has expanded that to Helmets for Life. Mm -hmm. Helmets to save their lives. But what we do, we don't care who it is, how old they are, how much money they have, what they're going to use it for. We will provide helmets to children for their entire life. Wow. And if they come by our office, we'll take their picture, we'll send them a birthday card with their picture on it to remind them mm -hmm. it's time to upgrade their helmet. And uh, we go out, we go see special needs kids, we go to health events. Again, we go to parades, uh, uh, Tybee Island Parade, the Harris Parade. You're part of festivals. Harris. I mean, probably at least 50 different nonprofit events that you're a part of every single year. And you give out hundreds of helmets at each one of those events. Oh, not just that. We go to schools, we go to neighborhoods. I just saw in the paper today, my wife got so excited, a police officer was giving away a basketball goal. And my brother, who was a police officer for 30 years, we said, go find this guy and tell him that that same neighborhood, we will come and we'll put a helmet on every child in that neighborhood. Wow. We just did that out, uh, out 204, out by Joiner's Corner, that area. You know, we just, we just want kids, we have outreach programs for churches, we have tickets where the police can write a, a get a helmet instead mm -hmm. of a ticket, and they can come redeem it. We have prescriptions for doctors that can prescribe mm -hmm. a helmet, and so we have a lot of outreach but Also, programs. we know that this, you all have the biggest hearts ever, but this is an expensive venture. So there's a way that all of us, a delicious way, can give back and help you with this program. It's a chili cook-off going on in February. Oh, yes, yes. Um, February the 11th at 1137 Mohawk, behind the theaters, behind the Savannah Malls, where my office is, a big nine-acre field there, and we have the building, we'll have the chili cook-off. Um, now, it's a lawyer chili cook-off. Mm -hmm. We do it every year, and the lawyers come from across the state to see who has the best chili. We have regular chili, we have hot chili, we have first, second, and third place with monster trophies in East mm -hmm. Division, and we have a People's Choice Award. Now, a lot of people at this point become very alarmed. Please don't. There are no actual lawyers cooked in this contest, <laughs> and none are harmed. But I know that was a concern. But in the past, we've had trial judges judge it. We've had celebrities uh -huh. from the TV stations and print media. Well, this year, we're Very, saluting... I'm going to have to cut you off. Very quickly, how can we get involved with this? How much are the tickets? What do we do? Tickets are free. 
Okay. It's free to the public. You come in. There'll be a small charge to, to get the chili. We're going to have police chiefs from all the municipalities there judging. We're saluting the police. And uh, just call our office, 920-2000. We'll give you the information. Look for our Facebook page. You can look at my page, Howard Spiva, or you can look at Spiva Law Group. You can look at Justice for Children. It's all on there. And uh, we happy to provide. Just Google us. You'll find us. Thank you so much. And we're excited about this chili cook-off coming up. And we're excited about what you've been doing for many, many years in our community. Thank you so much, and we appreciate you sharing this information. Come back sometime. We'll talk a little bit more about what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. We'll be back in just a moment. Thank you so much for joining us for Bounce Around Savannah. I hope you've gotten some really good information from Dr. Billy Jamerson as well as Attorney Howard Spiva. If you have any questions, of course, always send me an email about that. I can get you in touch with both of those gentlemen. We appreciate their time on today. And we appreciate you for joining us every Monday right here on Bounce TV at 730. We look forward to seeing you next week. Good night.